On this episode, NYPD officer arrested for assaulting and threatening his girlfriend. Also, a Las Vegas man allegedly killed his grandmother and her boyfriend several days before killing a third victim. Those stories and my breakdown. Chris Talk starts right now. Let's get into it. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Chris Talks. I am your host with the most, <clears throat> excuse my throat, something called my throat. I don't know what it is. But I am your host with the most. <sighs> Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing good. Hope y'all having a good day. <clears throat> Can I get some water? Ooh. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm having a good day. I don't know what, what the heck. I'm telling you every single time. It's like he caught in my throat. I don't know. I've been drinking this. Um, what's this? Um, what's this thing I've been drinking? What's the name of it? Like this protein drink. Yeah. I forgot the name of it, but you know, you could get it on um, Amazon. What's it? Something. I, I, when I get home, I, I look it up. But I've been drinking this protein drink, and ever since I started drinking it, it's like, I don't know. Real different. I don't know. But anyway, we're not going to get into my personal life, y'all. <clears throat> Let's get into these stories, though, which is bugged out. So, uh, our first story is about some. Uh, what is it? An NYPD officer arrested for assaulting and threatening his girlfriend. What is that about? That's bugged out. The cops, y'all yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Cops, y'all supposed to serve and protect. And here y'all are, you know, threatening and. Uh, hey, let's get into the story right quick, y'all. Let's get into the story played out. Let's let our AI take over. I, I'm interested in this one. Let's do it. A 30-year-old NYPD officer was arrested for assaulting and threatening his 23-year-old girlfriend in Queens Thursday morning. According to police, officers arrested Josue Sanchez around 6 a.m. in the 115th precinct after he grabbed his girlfriend's shoulder and threatened her with an unspecified weapon during a domestic dispute. Officials said police would not say where exactly he was arrested. But the 115th precinct is in Jackson Heights. He faces charges for assault, menacing and harassment. Police initially told 1010 Winds they could not say why Sanchez was arrested. Claiming the report was marked do not release when asked in what circumstances the NYPD withholds information about arrests. The officer from the Deputy Commissioner for Public Information's office said, when the sheet says so. A different officer from DCPI later revealed that the arrest took place following the alleged domestic abuse incident. The NYPD confirmed Sanchez was suspended without pay following the arrest. He joined the NYPD in 2018 and was paid $60,800. Public records show, in December 2018, he was accused of threatening arrest without cause in a misconduct complaint. But the Civilian Complaint Review Board wasn't able to substantiate the allegation. According to the police misconduct monitor 50-a.com. Well, well, at least they kept it on um, some type of file that uh, a report was made at some point. But there, there, there should have been something done about that. But <clears throat> right? Well, at least they kept it on file. At least they kept it on file. But this is some type of uh, some nice joint. This is why I tell people, just leave. Just, just leave. Can we give this guy my idiot ding dong? Ding ding ding. Again? Ding ding ding. Just leave. Just leave. Why does it have to come down in, in so many cases, especially with uh, people in positions of authority like this? I'm not saying it's all cases of people in position of authority like this. I'm just saying it happens a lot with people in position 
of authority where it's just like the abuse happening on the, on the job, but it also happens at home. For some families, I'm not saying all, I'm just saying for some families, they deal with things like this every single day. But hope um, she did get out there. Said, yeah, well, she got out of it. Um, there was no, um, he didn't get, like, he didn't pull out on her or anything like that, anything like that, which is a good thing because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's crazy. But some men of position they used to, they, like I said, they use that position of power or they use the badge or even some people who's not in a, um, <clears throat> some men who's not in an authority position, just the fact that they have a weapon, you know what I mean? Like just the fact I got a gun in my house, now you going to do whatever I say because it's my gun and it, no, 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 no. You go get a gun, I can go get a gun too. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, got me messed up. Stop, 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 stop. I was just playing. Sorry about that. I was just playing. I don't recommend that anybody go get a gun or anything like that. It was just a little joke. So, you know, like I said, these are just my views and my opinions. So don't take it too, too, too to the heart. All right. So let's check out one of the comments that uh, one of the people wrote. When a man. When a man uses his position in law enforcement to threaten a girl or his own wife, it is time to take the gun and the badge away. This guy is a sorry excuse for a human being. I am sick of hearing about other law enforcement officers who always use their weapons to threaten somebody. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They supposed to protect and care about. It's true. I mean, it's in your home, bro. It's in your home. Just leave or tell her to leave. Whoever who, whoever's at the uh, the head of the lease, they get to stay. Everybody else gotta go. <laughs> That's not funny. That is the truth. That's the law. Everybody, you gotta go. My name is at the top of the lease. This is my crib. You could pack your bag and just get it moving. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's not a big deal. Instead of sitting there, what did he do? He beat up. That's what he did, right? Yeah, he beat up. So, uh, so yeah, he beat up. So, he beat up, and then he threatened her after he beat up. And that's just too much. You already beat me up. Now, you're going to threaten me again? After you beat me up, that's just, that's that's too much. It's not funny. Man. It's just too much. You already whooped my butt. Leave me alone. That's it. Leave me alone. All right. <clears throat> um, that's my view. That's my opinion about this. About that. So let's just play the bills real quick. If you like this content and want to hear more of it, you know all the. Um, all the links and stuff is right there on your screen. This particular episode will be on what is it? Facebook? Yeah. Um, no, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. This particular episode will be on YouTube. So y'all go check it out. Also, um, if uh, you are in a business of you know doing whatever you want to do and you want um, to promote your business or whatever on my show, is uh, you know hit me up, DM me, and we can work out something to put you up on the show. And get your um, advertising stuff out there, right? <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff. All right, y'all. Let's get into the second story. Uh, I'm sorry, my voice is sound great. It's probably because it's just the morning, and I just finished drinking that um, that protein shake. I'm telling you, I forgot the name of it. But when I get home on that, probably the next show. I'm going to probably have the name. Uh, yeah, on the next show, I'm going to have the name for it. But it's, it is it is kind of good, though. It is good. I'm not going to... They got all different flavors, like vanilla and chocolate and all this. 
That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. You know, it's supposed to help the kids. Because I need to gain some weight. I, I'm tired of... Yeah, I'm bones, eh? I am bones. You already see it. I'm I need to get some more weight. You know what I mean? Alright, so let's get into this uh, next story, which is a Las Vegas man who allegedly killed his grandmother and her boyfriend several days before killing a third victim. Uh, how did this, this is what I want to know. How come it took so long for them to, um, to find the first two? You know, usually somebody who disappeared after like one or two days, Ed, they just, you know, you make that phone call. You know what I mean? Somebody has everybody that they speak to every day. If you don't find somebody <laughs> to call, that you just call every single day. You know, I have my person I call every single day. I just, every single day, just hit them. Just to let them know I'm, a, I'm still alive. You know what I mean? Or you could do like, um, well, we'll discuss that idea afterwards. Let's let's get into this story, y'all. Uh, uh, Ed, hit it. Let's let the AI take over. Las Vegas, man. Yeah, come on. Let's hit it. Hit it. You got it? Is this, do you have the story? I thought you had it. I thought you had it. Do you have A Las Vegas man allegedly killed his grandmother and her boyfriend several days before a third person was killed Tuesday. Documents said, around 9 a.m. On Tuesday, June 27, officers were called to an apartment complex in the 9100 block of West Flamingo Road after reports of a man armed with a large pipe attacking people. When they arrived, witnesses told officers that the suspect had fled to the back of the leasing office. Officers found the suspect, identified as Spencer McDonald, 30, and after a short chase and arrested him. According to the report, McDonald was armed with a large bludgeoning device known as a mace. McDonald is accused of killing his grandmother, Dina Raker Vale, 80, her boyfriend, Andrew Graydon, 43, and a maintenance worker at the apartment complex, Christopher Brassard, 45. McDonald is also accused of attempting to kill a second maintenance worker. Police said, according to the report, on Monday, at around 6.15 p.m., one of Vale's co-workers arrived at the apartment to pick her up for a dance class that Vale teaches, which he told police he does every Monday. The report stated that he saw a package at the door and when he knocked several times, he did not get an answer. He told police that he believed Vale may have gotten a ride from someone else. When Vale never showed up for her scheduled class, he messaged her, her boyfriend, Graydon, and her grandson, McDonald, who he knew Vale lived with at the apartment. The report stated, he never received a response. According to the report, Vale's co-worker told police that he believed McDonald may have had a mental disability, but did not know his diagnosis. An article from the Washington Post in 2013 revealed that McDonald was battling schizophrenia. 8 News Now reported Wednesday. That article also reported that McDonald's grandmother, Vale, moved in with him after the diagnosis. According to the report, Vale's co-worker also messaged another family member of Vale's, who also had not heard from her. On Tuesday, he received a message from that family member saying that McDonald told them that Vale took the day off. The report stated that the last time the co-worker saw Vale was on June 22nd. The last text message he received from her was on June 23rd. On Tuesday morning, he drove to the apartment complex to request a welfare check. According to the report, while he was contacting the police, he was told that apartment maintenance was going to the apartment to conduct a check. The report stated that minutes later, he saw an employee fleeing the apartment, bleeding. According to the report, an unnamed maintenance worker, along with Brassard, knocked on the door of the apartment but did not get an answer. So they used a master key to enter. The worker told police that he saw a piece of cardboard on the floor covering what he believed to be blood and that he saw what he thought was blood on the walls. The report stated that he saw a man, later identified as McDonald, exit one of the bedrooms holding a hammer. McDonald ran toward the two, who attempted to escape the apartment. The worker told police that he saw McDonald swing the hammer at Brassard, who yelled out in pain. As the worker ran out the door, he was hit in the back but was able to run away from the apartment. The report said, 
He told police that he returned to grab his dropped cell phone and that he saw Brasser dead inside the apartment. McDonald told police that he had killed Vale in the early morning several days prior by bludgeoning and stabbing her while she was in bed. Police said, he told police that Graydon was not home at the time. The report stated that McDonald then waited for Graydon to return home, then bludgeoned and stabbed him in the living room before dragging his body into the bedroom. According to the report, McDonald lived in the apartment for several days and went about his normal activities, he told police that he did not get around to disposing of the bodies. McDonald also admitted to the police that he stabbed Brassard several times when he arrived for the welfare check. He did not give a specific reason for the killings. According to the report, several weapons with what appeared to be blood on them were found in the apartment, including a large chef's knife and a sword. McDonald faces three counts of open murder and one charge of attempted murder. He is being held without bail in the Clark County Detention Center until his next court appearance on Monday. Hmm. You got that right. You got that right. This man. I'm sorry. To say, um, our condolences to um, the families, the families of the uh, victims in this this story. But this man is definitely. And I'm sure any one of my listeners can agree. This man will never see the light of day again. Can we pull up his picture real quick? Does this sound like some... Yup, uh, here we go. Non-melanin. And he looked crazy. He looks just... This picture, he looks just crazy. I want to see... What I want to do is... Um, I want to post this picture. That's the picture. Of... The story that we talked about. So you want to see the picture of the person that I'm talking about from this story? I'm going to post it on Facebook. Can we? Can we do that? Okay, we're going to put it on Facebook. At least the, at least this um, his face. This guy looks insane, insane, and he killed three people. I don't, I don't even understand. Like me, I couldn't do. Me personally, I could. I don't think I could see myself harming my grandmother or my mom for that sense. You know what I'm saying? Let alone doing what what he did. That's wow. That's he's nuts. I'm, I'm sorry to say, it, but yeah, he's nuts. He's he's beyond. Give it to him, Ed. Just give it to him. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. One more time. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, for the third victim. Because he is... This guy is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. And I'm sorry to say that, but... <clears throat> I shouldn't even be saying it that way. So I would take that back. I shouldn't even be saying it that way. But... This guy... Apparently, apparently, with his grandparents, he has some serious issues. Serious issues. The 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 other guy, I don't understand why he would do that. That part of it was to me that was just was senseless. But his grandparents, he has some serious issues. But I don't think, you know, maybe it was money. Who knows? Because money will draw you to do some crazy stuff like this. I mean, if you look around in America, how many people lose their life over insurance policy? I mean, come on. There was a big, wasn't there a big case with the non-melanin dude? The old dude with his, um, his wife. And then, did you stop doing that? With, with, with the wife and uh, he was a lawyer or something? I forgot that that um case but there was a big case like that on on the news with this with this lawyer who killed his wife and and um his son and stuff like that. It, that was big. And this is to me it's probably the same thing. I'm just throwing it out there. It's probably the same thing. It probably had to do with money or maybe living the ring. Maybe 
they was telling him, yo, you got to get out. You can't stay here no more. You got to bounce. And he just, he wasn't having it. But the, I mean, even when we um, looked up the, uh, try to further it on this, it, he never states, and this is true, he never states why he did it. He, he just don't like them. I don't like you, boom. It don't make no sense. This is a senseless crime. And the fact that it's uh, his family members, it makes it even more senseless. We did a story where there was a barbecue and one of the, the, the family members killed, like, three of the other family members. Like, real senseless. You family, you should be able to, at some point, talk. At some point, talk. All uh, right. Not bring it down to such violence. I'm not condoning any violence, but not take it as far as pulling out weapons or trying to murder. You know what I mean? It's your family. You know? And this is grim. Oh, man, this is this, hey, this, this story is vicious. That's, that's my opinion on that. This man is going to serve a lot of, uh, he's going to sit in jail for a very, very long time. And he deserves to sit in jail for the rest of his life. But he's probably going to sit in jail for the rest of his life. I mean, I mean crazy. It's, it's bugged out. It's, I'm just saying, people, look at the, the, the type of stuff that's going on in our communities. You got a, 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 a dang on cop. <laughs> Now, how old is he? 30. 30 years old. Uh, uh, beating up on a 20-year-old girl. And then, you, you got the, the the Las Vegas man. He's like a menace. He's like, this dude is like a menace. Killing his grandmother and her boyfriend. And then, killing the, the, the maintenance man when he comes to check up on the home. I mean, America, I, I say it, I always say it, I say it in every show. People, we got to do better. We got to do better. If this could have been something, it could have been something wrong with his mental for him to do that. Or he could have just had some real personal grudge, like I said before, against his grandparents. You know, the other one, the, the, the cop, he's just an a-hole. Of course, he just, you know, throwing around his authority. That's what I think about that one. You know? It's crazy, America. We, people, we got to do better. We are definitely, definitely. Oh, that's your way of telling me to shut up. Is that your way of telling me to shut up? Yeah, I don't even see a stare that I'm giving this dude right now. I'm telling you. I'm about to. Anyway. All right, folks, let me get out of here. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stress. Until next episode. Peace. Why do you do that? That was so tough.